Okay, guys, let's get started on your next assignment. So I showed you these in class, but for your next assignment with acrylic, you guys are going to be making these kind of rectangle square compositions, okay? So you guys are going to need to make six of them, and then I'm going to get you started on one of them. So you guys are going to be making six pieces. They'll each have ten rectangles in them that are going to overlap, um, and we'll go from there, okay? So, to get started, you're going to need a piece of paper. You can just use the ones from your notebook. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, and then one of these little right triangles right here, okay? So, how this is going to work is, like I said, you need to make 10 different rectangles, and all the rectangles need to overlap. So, each rectangle you make needs to overlap with at least one other rectangle, if not more, Okay? So in order to use this little red triangle thing, you're going to make sure that it's kind of perpendicular with the paper so that it is all your rectangles are straight. So I'm just going to, I just put mine down and I went up the one side, went up the other. And then what you're going to do is you're going to flip it and you're going to make sure that um, the bottom of your red triangle lines up with that line that you made. And you're going to go up the other side. Perfect, just like that. Then you're going to flip it over and you're going to line up that line with the edge of your right triangle, okay? So a lot of this assignment is just you guys lining up your triangle um, and making these like perfect rectangular shapes, okay? So that's one. And then if I were you guys, I would keep a little tally on the bottom just so that I know how many rectangles I've made. So I've just made one. Okay, so now for my next rectangle, it needs to overlap that rectangle I just made. Um, and try to make sure your lines, again, are straight and they all line up so that all the tops of your rectangles um, are perpendicular and line up and all the sides line up as well. So again, I made that with my little right triangle. I did both those sides. Now I'm lining up the bottom of my triangle with the bottom of um, that rectangle I made. I'm flipping it over. Just so everything lines up and has a nice, sharp corner. Nice, sharp edge, okay? So there's my second rectangle. Gonna fix that corner a little bit. Okay. So then I'm gonna make another one. And you're just gonna keep doing this. You're gonna make a bunch of rectangles. Um, again, make sure they all overlap. Um, and do what they are supposed to okay so at this point i've made a few more rectangles as you can see um but i'm kind of going to show you um what i mean when i say that the rectangles can't have a shared side okay so right now i'm making my little rectangle and as i'm going down this one i get down to the bottom and i see that it kind of that line overlaps the line of another rectangle and we can't do that um, it kind of doesn't overlap exactly, but it's really small and you don't want that either because you're going to have to fill these with paint. So the smaller you make your rectangles, honestly, the harder it is. So I would make them a little bit bigger, make sure that nothing's too skinny or it'll be really hard to paint in the lines. So I'm just going to fix this one. I'm going to go back and extend that top line a little bit more so that when I go down, they don't overlap. And again, I just want to remind you guys, try and keep all your rectangles straight. I don't want them to be like diagonals. Um, I just want them to line up with the paper, line up with each other. So keep it neat. Try and line those up nice and neat. Okay, here's where it's going to get a little bit tricky. But we'll try to explain it as best as I can, okay? So I'm just going to... I just did all my 10 rectangles. They all overlap. They all do what they're supposed to. So I'm erasing my little tally marks. So now what I'm going to go in and do is we're going to pretend each of these rectangles is like a piece of colored glass, okay? And if you had more over on top of each other, it would be darker. Whereas if you just had one, it would be a lighter color, okay? So right now what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm marking each little rectangle, each little square, of how many different rectangles are kind of overlapping that. And I'm going to show you a video in just a second and that will hopefully explain that a little bit better um, as I'm going through this. Okay, so for example, right down here I just have a 1. 
because that part is just going through one rectangle. Here is a 2 because this big rectangle is being overlapped by this kind of medium rectangle. So that's a 2. Okay? Okay, and then this one is kind of, this 3 is overlapped by that rectangle, that rectangle, and then this large rectangle. Okay? So you need to see how many times each rectangle is overlapping another one. This one has 4. So it's got the skinny one, and this kind of smaller one, this larger one, um, and then this other large one. So it's got four overlapping okay okay um something else i want you guys to keep in mind is that the two numbers next to each other will never be the same okay so if you get two that are the same you probably did it wrong and one is wrong so this one is actually a three it's not a two um so the numbers can be the same diagonally but if they're next to each other they won't be the same okay hopefully that makes sense um, so I'm just going to go through and keep doing this. That is a 3. This one is my 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to skip through. Okay, now let's say you guys get done. And you have like a lot of 3s and maybe only like one 4. For this assignment, you guys need a couple 4s. Maybe even a few 4s. Maybe even some 5s, okay? So an easy way to fix this is if you kind of just draw another rectangle. It's okay if you have 11. But if you just draw another like really big rectangle over um, this area that has all these threes. Um, so give me a second while I draw this. But what will happen is if you draw a rectangle over this, it will kind of just bump up all the numbers by one. Okay, so if you have a bunch of threes... Um, but you don't really have any fours because I only have one four. Um, you're just going to draw this bigger rectangle that will help you get the, the numbers that you need. I'll show you what that looks like as soon as I'm done drawing this. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through and I'm just going to add one to every number that is in my new square. Okay, so the threes become fours, the twos becomes threes. The ones becomes twos, all those things. So any any rectangle that's in my new rectangle will get bumped up. Okay, so I'm going to go through and change all of those. It's cool because I even got a five in there. You don't really need a five. Just as long as you've got like a few fours, you'll be good. But you can have a five or even a six if you get up there. That's fine too. And again, I just want to clarify that you're doing this number thing for only one of your pieces. Okay, so you've made six different rectangle pieces, but only one of them will look like this. Okay, so after I've kind of done, I've like bumped all of those up, I'm just going to go through and erase those. Um, again, I want you guys to remember to do all of this lightly so that you don't have to like go over everything with a ton of paint and that things get erased easily. Okay, so now I've got a bunch of fours, um, which is where I need to be. Okay. Okay. Well, good luck, you guys. Um, I know you can do this. Um, get everything drawn. We are not painting today, so you guys aren't going to paint. I'm going to put the paint away, so it's not even an option. Um, but you're not painting. Just get all these little rectangle pieces set up so that when Mrs. Reese is back on Wednesday, you're ready to go. Okay, good luck guys, you got it.